Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Chronicle of Innsmouth. Now, gonna go ahead and let you guys know, I actually recorded an episode, but for some reason my recording software actually re recorded a black screen, so I do apologize about that. The good news about this, though, is I didn't really get a whole lot accomplished in 25 minutes. I have hit a bit of a roadblock. But before um, we get to that point, let's go ahead and show you what I've done. Now, the first thing that you do is you go up here to the grocery store, and uh, you want to get this newspaper out of your inventory. And the best way to do that is by giving the Newburyport newspaper to the employee. Uh, you might find this interesting. What? Check out the front page headline. Basher of Newburyport strikes again. Teen brutally bashed in an alley near... Wait a... Wait, hold on just a... That's my brother! Even with his face all messed up like that, I would recognize that shirt anywhere. Oh well, he probably deserved it. Brotherly love. Now, I thought that that was going to get us out of our uh, little rut that we're in. Unfortunately, that is not the case. So, after that, I discovered... I figured that we got the hot tip about the smugglers over near the swamps. So, if we go ahead and travel over here... I figured maybe after a set amount of time here in the swamps, we would see the little ships float by, because remember, we need to get whiskey for um, Zadok, but that does not seem to be the case. So, it had to revolve around the lighthouse, because I figured that would probably be the best way to go. However, the a lighthouse is closed. Now, how I was able to get around that is, if I couldn't get in, I thought maybe I had to do something with a broken spotlight on the other side. So... We go here into the alley, out to the square, and this is a lot of roundabout. This is where I was spending the majority of the episode, just kind of walking around, seeing what worked and what didn't. And here in the lighthouse, check this out, if we look at the lighthouse, it appears to be an abandoned lighthouse. I wonder if it still works. And there we go. So, what we have to do here... It looks like someone might be up there. Hey! Is anyone up there? Nothing. So we have to basically send a signal out to uh, the lighthouse. Now how we do that is we use the flashlight. I have the light, but it seems that's not enough on its own. Now check out this bit of engineering. I didn't really know what to do, and then just kind of off the top of my head, I used the speaker with the flashlight, and it created an audio flashlight. So now we use the audio flashlight. I have to lighten the sound, but seem to be lacking the volume to be heard from here. Fortunately, we have the gramophone horn, and look at this bit of engineering mastery. We're essentially sending the signals back that hopefully won't send us into the floating city from Bioshock Infinite. And now we play a little bit of Simon. I think I'm getting how this works, and we have to follow what the lighthouse does. getting there, I think. Click. Was that it? Did I do whatever this was? Damn it. I so wanted to patent that. And that click basically made him drop the thing, and everything except for the flashlight went into the water, so... Un very unfortunate. So now we actually head to the lighthouse, because that click was the lighthouse actually unlocking. 
which is quite fortuitous. Unfortunately, we have to go around back through the swamp again. And I sat here for a little bit, hoping that maybe the ships would uh, show up. Not the case. So we just go into the lighthouse. I guess that was the signal to open the door. And use the flashlight. And as you can see, we can't actually move. I thought this was a first person view. Not the case. We just go up the ladder. And I thought to myself, so help me if this ends up like the end of uh, Shutter Island. I will be a sad panda. And there we go. So, you finally arrived. Years I've been waiting. I never imagined they would send someone so young. What does the cat say at midnight? What was that again? Be gone. You are not one of us. But, be gone. Now you can go ahead and keep talking to him. He'll ask the same question. Meow. Be gone. And, I'm curious. Be gone. And this is basically where the episode ended for me because, try as I might, I could not find that code to s for anything. So I went back to Zadok Island, I checked all of Innsmouth. Part of me actually even wanted to go into the refinery, but I knew that would be a bad idea. So I talked to the clerk. Let's go ahead and talk to the clerk again. Maybe I'm missing something. Zadok, unfortunately, will not talk until you hand him whiskey, so no use there. And you notice that the streets are getting a little bit more crowded. Repeat what you sell here. A little bit of everything. So I'm not exactly sure that they sell passcodes here on the shelves. Um, I tried giving everything to the guy. He wasn't interested, even in the, the key. So I don't know what we're using the YCM or YMCA key for. Innsmouth. Sadic. Yeah, this is all stuff we've talked to him about. The only difference from the last episode, really, other than what we've unlocked... Uh, is the lookout who walked into Gilman House. Now, that's all well and good. Unfortunately, though, as you can see... Then what do you want? Can't you see we be talking? We don't want to be disturbed. Get lost. And that takes us right outside. And the same thing if you try and go upstairs... Where are you going? Maybe I'd not be making myself clear enough. Oh. We do not want to be disturbed. And we are testing his patience. I haven't seen that before. Oh. He's gonna kill us. Could you be coming over here just a moment? What were you talking about? Be coming just a little closer that I might be explaining it better. Oh, and we just got shivved. That's okay, though. That is okay. Because that is something new. So I wonder... Can we hide behind the tote? Let's see here. Hide behind the totem pole, come on. Oh! Ah, some Metal Gear! What tell y'all? Be the shipment ready. We be waiting with the boat for the next load. All's well. We've got enough of many, a lad. The boys be unloading from the bus as we be speaking. I'm talking about the stash ready to roll out. 
We've got some boats to load. Our ward and be warehouse, warehouse be stocked. Essex ain't staying dry for long. Dry, dry. Phew. Just run of the mill smugglers and not anything worse. That's kind of a relief. Well then, I'll be off then to oversee the. Hold up, drop anchor. This just popped back into me head. There's been tell of one or two inquisitive types nosing around town. Still be jabbering. Tain't nothing we can't manage. Yes, manage, manage. That's something. Trophy? Now... Hi, Joe. How you be? He's talking with the bus driver. Well, now that we know that the smuggler is gone, let's head up to the lighthouse. That might actually bear some fruit now. Because he may be heading that direction. So we had a limited amount of time to do that right, otherwise the uh, smuggler, or the lookout, was just going to prison shank us. Okay, we will head back up here. And if not here, then chances are good we need to go to the other side of the pier where the spotlight is. Maybe went up that direction. Hmm. Okay, nothing there. So the lookout is definitely about here somewhere, and we know he has a knife, and he is more than willing to use it. So let's just take a stroll. I love how it auto saves every time we go to the refinery. <laughs> Just in case. Swamp. Waterfall. Let's try the other side where the spotlight is. And hopefully he doesn't try and shank us here in an alley. Because he might be very he might be here to signal. No? He's not there, but I'm seeing some sparks. That's not nice. He actually might be back at his post. Aha! And he is hustling. Okay. Are the ships going back to the swamp? That is not where I need to go. Alley, lighthouse. We need to do some listening in. Okay, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Maybe we needed to wait for them to actually go off the screen. Yeah. Okay. Fan. We'll do things your way. I think my meowing is pretty good. No black ships. And not in the positive, like, Lord of the Ring context about the black ships. These are, uh, not good black ships. Back to the pier. Okay, now he's going back. Then he goes down that way. Let's wait for the ship to go off the screen.
and they disappeared. So now let's go ahead and try and follow uh, the lookout here. I'm glad the game is being somewhat forgiving about that. Well, that's actually true because he knows where the meetup actually is. Ah, okay, that's the ticket. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. And I'm actually not. Okay, there we go. I wasn't controlling him. And right into the swamp zone. Achievement unlocked, ninja. Ooh. The Marsh's secret snack chamber. Ooh. People are talking. So I already told you, we're good to go. After you already be cheating me this month. You be late this week. The feds be hot at our heels. It takes me more than just a few bottles to be buying them off. We must be watching our backs. And be treading lightly. If they be getting a lead, and a pointless banter, someone could be a spy on us. These be the last crates of the load stowed aboard then. Okay, it be settled then. Be seeing you next week for the rest of the shipment. See ya then, you damn fool. Hi. Ooh. And there's a bottle. At least I waited until they left. Ah, whiskey. Completely illegal. I like it. Go to entrance. Now it's pitch black in here. The flashlight doesn't seem to work down here. Maybe it's the dampness in the air. Oh, I saw an exit. Go to exit. Please don't die. I can't see a thing. Oop. Yep, that's a wall. Ah! Ugh. That's right, take the long path. It's okay. As long as we get there at the end. Hey, I think I found a ladder. We probably walked over a ton of, like, corpses. There's a window. So many crates. I wouldn't know where to start. This one says whiskey. Whiskey! Whiskey! Zadok wants his whiskey! Oh, is this the same thing? Okay. And there's an exit here. Oh, this leads us to the store. Well, that's convenient. Zadok was right in where he needed to be. Oh, that was that was mean. Here's Zadok. Come on, Zadok. Hey there, is that what Zadok thinks it is? Yes, your beloved whiskey. You crave it, right? Perhaps it'll jog your memory. Ah, Zadok's mind feels clear. What was it you were asking me about again? You're here to make fun of poor Zadok like all the rest. No, old timer. I'm just here to listen to the old tale of Zadok, which only Zadok himself can tell. Why, but you're so young. What brings you to such a place as this? Actually, I'm just passing through. In a few hours, I'll be heading on to Arkham. 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 So many times has Zadok been there in the past, but like the fool Zadok is, Zadok has always let himself be drawn back here. Zadok thought that things might be different. But nothing ever changes here. I follow Zadok. Hmm. 
Where are we going? Now, come here. Why are you so interested in Zadok's pathetic tale? I'm most interested in why Innsmouth has become so shunned by the outside world. <laughs> why so shunned? Well, allow Zadok to clue you in, my young friend. Reputation is pretty much just a human construct. And they cared very little about such concepts here, but... Perhaps they care just enough to make sure that people do not come sniffing around. Zadok would like you to see something. Hey, wait up! Where the devil did he get to? Yex! It all began out there. Some kind of infernal gate opened up in the depths of the ocean. The Devil's Reef. The legend spoke of devils dancing upon the reef when the moon was full. Legends. Mere stories, but with power enough to obsess and to plant those seeds of insanity into the minds of all. Oh, if only we'd known the terrible truth that seemed only the absurd superstitions of these ignorant fishermen. We may never know what Captain Obed Marsh discovered on his voyages to the South Seas, but whatever it was, it was not mere legends, for his ships returned laden with gold. And from that day on, Innsmouth became one of the richest ports in the state. Fish were teeming in amazing abundance. This made Captain Marsh one of the most important figures in the community. And then began his strange behavior. He began raving about the strange deities worshipped amongst the South Sea Islanders. And about how such worship was actually answered rewarding them with everything they longed for. Many folk, including Zadok's own doomed father, witnessed boats sailing out to the Devil's Reef in the dead of night and returning to dock overflowing with gold and laden with more fish than could be caught in a three-day stint at sea. Around this time, people began to disappear. Those who opposed Captain Marsh started to vanish. To blame him for this seemed the obvious judgment. But the townsfolk were blinded by their newfound wealth and looked the other way. So, how does Zadok know this? The night Zadok's father failed to return home, Zadok saw the boats gathering around the Devil's Reef. Damn their eyes! Zadok cannot erase their chant from his mind. Yaya, yaya, Cthulhu Fakanyan, Pekuling, Miglifanya Cthulhu Raile. Then they threw a large bundle into the sea. <laughs> Zadok swears that Zadok saw the water surface break and figures appear that were alike both you and Zadok, but not... If only for their elongated heads and the simian way in which they moved. Uh -huh. uh, Zadok is saying nothing more. Zadok has completed Zadok's duty and served the first and second oaths. Zadok would tell nothing of how that fiend navigated his way across the sea, nor of his landing in that cursed city nor of the fallen crosses, nor of the followers, nor of the tainted blood that now flows in their veins. Zadok will not speak, not speak of such. Only the cats of Ulthar speak. But what? Uh, Zadok will not speak. Zadok will not speak. Only the cats of Ulthar can speak. What do you choose not to believe? Why? <laughs> Why? He's completely insane. I'm glad he's gone. I was scared he brought me here to get rid of me. Okay. Well. That was Zadok's tale. That's always a popular one in any Innsmouth tale. Should we go down and see if he's still in his, uh... Little shack? Or little hovel? But he said the cats of Ulthar speak. That's definitely... And he's not there anymore. 
Okay, guys. Well, we definitely made progress. Um, we heard Zadok's tale, and we found out about the Cats of Ulthar. Maybe that's enough to get us into uh, the lighthouse, but I guess we'll find out next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone. <laughs>